YouTube. Uh, I thought I'd do another video because I think this is like a, uh, a criti critical one for uh, people trying to make currency so you can get your gear through PoE trade. So, the, for anyone who's only just started playing the game, I guess, it looks a bit crazy on some of the prices that when you have a look at these trade chat texts and things like this. Some of these prices are just insane. Um, and to be honest, like if you're going to pay up Chaos for some of these items, you're going to get totally ripped off. So the alternate is to use PoE Trade, which I'll just bring that up on my window, which is this awesome little website. So if I typed in the Brass Dome, I can just do a quick search for it. And it'll bring up everything that I need to know for my quick brass tome sele uh, dome selections. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to actually get items on it. As, see, as you can see, like it's pretty cheap. Like you can pick one of these bad boys up for 10, 10 chaos on this, and uh, it's pretty straightforward how to do this too. But I'll uh, what I'll run through quickly now is just how to get your items on here so you can start making currency. Because one of the hardest things in this game is making currency and getting the gear that you need. For example, this six link I actually bought this morning for 25 chaos. You don't need to spend a lot of money. So the first thing you're going to need for this is obviously you're going to need a premium stash tab. You're not going to be able to do this with a normal stash tab. So we go there, you can't really, you can right click and you can't really do anything with it. So the first thing for the few dollars that you pay to get a premium stash tab, it's completely worth it. So once you've got your stash tab, so in this case I've got a stash tab right here, you right click on your stash tab and there used to be like a thread that you used to have to put into the PoE forums, but now you don't even need to do that. You just go click public and you've got a few different options here. You can go set price on all items, so if I wanted everything in here to be 1C, I could set a price to 1C and it'll automatically post everything that I want up for 1C. But in this case, there's set exact price on all items. Um, haven't used that one before, so I'm not really interested in that. So in this case, I've ticked to public. I'll go each item individually priced. So I'll click that, and yeah, let's give it a different color because yeah, just call it trading. Ta trading. So then we go that. All right. So we've got this awesome little thing here. And basically, because people can publicly, s th this is set to public, people can view the what's in here on poe.trade automatically. Um, but there is a, a couple of other steps, which I'll show you right now. So the next step is take your item. So we're not really going to sell this one. Um, and you know, obviously, if you've got the POE Trade macro, uh, you click Control D and it'll do a request search result for you and I'll just go through the thing. So this is trading for one alteration. Uh, as soon as you move it, it clicks off. So it's not worth anything, but for the case of this example, I'll show you what you do. So you've set up your trading tab. Trading, click, that's clicked. You've done whatever other things to it. So then you right click on the item in there and it has this other box that comes up here. So then you go, click price and maybe I want to sell this for one alteration. So, on orb of alteration, if I was selling for chaos, I could sell for chaos. If I was selling for, um, you know, anything else, uh, cartographer's chisel, let's put it at that. So now, when you hover over, it has a cartographer, cartographer's chisel set as the asking price. So, once you do this, automatically, this will update. I don't quite know how long it takes to update, but it's usually pretty quick. And if I was searching through, I could Sovereign Spiked Shield. Sovereign Spiked Shield. That's it. Oh, yes, that's it. So, I guess we can slice the shield. See, see what it So, obviously, it's like optimized order. So, Sovereign Spiked Shield. Maybe not. Either way, regardless of that example not exactly working amazingly, this will be sitting somewhere up on the PoE trade forums waiting for someone to click on that and want to purchase, well, maybe don't want to purchase this, but the item that you use, they'll probably want to purchase that. And generally, the, the main key is, if you do your, 
if you set up your macro, and I might do a video on how to set up the macro, undercut those prices. So if someone's selling it for 20 chaos, sell it for 18 chaos. Take a couple of chaos off. It's the, the price of convenience at the end of the day. You'll make a lot more currency. I can't really talk because I've been spending all the currency that I have coming in and upgrading and leveling this character, but it is definitely the easiest way to make currency. And you can also trade anything in these currency tabs. Shards will also sell, in particular these uh, remnants of corruptions and whatnot. Div cards sell, legendaries obviously that's the quickest way you're going to make currency. Uh, maps you can sell as well, uh, and jewels, gems, everything. Quality gems tend to sell for a little bit. 20% quality you'll be able to ask for a lot, or level 20 gems you'll be able to ask for 1x. But basically that's how you're going to make all your currency, or the quickest way to make it. I originally when I first started playing tried typing in here and time again I sort of sold some things. but some people really don't understand the prices in here and if you're looking at these prices honestly you're better off just not even wasting your time with that um yeah that's pretty much all there is to it and oh and if you're buying off poe trade and a lot of people i don't know if they've used this site when i first looked i was like what the hell but say for example i wanted a shield i go search bad example that will be because I have this parameter in here. Make sure you reset these parameters too. So, to purchase off someone, you just hit, click that whisper, and then go straight in, into your chat, control paste it, control V, paste. And that will send a wisp out to the person, and generally POE trade, if you've got it set to only recognize people that are online, then you'll be able to get in contact and, uh, and yeah, talk to them old school. But anyway, that's a quick rundown on how to sell and how to actually do it. And um, and yeah, if you've got any questions or anything like that, then uh, hit me up in the chat. And uh, yeah, I might make might make a video of how to set up the um, the poe dot trade um, macro so that you can just control D on anything in here, which cuts down a lot of time. But yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, until next time, bye.